Lily my lovely today I'm doing this really bright and colourful spring look using greens, purples, like this and it's kind of like a rounded um, crease look so I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm also wearing Barry M's 129 on my lips so it's kind of purple tying in with the eyes and this is a really fun look um, for the springtime and please check out my blog for um, all the photos um, because I know the lighting isn't exactly amazing in these videos so please bear with me and that scratching sound is Maxi trying to pop up q-tips and a box so first of all I'm taking a pure luxe pigment and I spilt most of this it's really sad so a tiny little bit left and this is called Awakening Shadow and it's this really sparkly green I've also used this in the Awakening but Burgundy video it's a really pretty shadow um, these pigments however are really finely milled so I like using them with something like Max, Medi Max Mixing Medium or you can use um, eye drops or water or even Fix Plus whatever you wish, just something to add a little bit of substance. At first I actually used my gosh liner in Green Boost um, and put that on and then pressed the pigment on but that didn't really give me the intensity that I wanted so I went over it with some more pigment with next to medium on this side and now I'm just going to make a paste and with the mixing medium need a, another drop So you want to make a paste so it's not too thick but not too runny. Preferably no lumps either. And then just paint it on. Can you see how intense that green shimmer is? On the eye it just looks amazing. It looks so much brighter on the eyes. So much more shimmery than it does in the pot which I found is true with lots of these Pure Luxe pigments because I don't know, just the shimmer in them is really intense when you put them on a 3D surface like this and especially wetted with mixed and medium they are really really pretty, oh you can't really see but amazing so I'm trying to get an even layer of that all over my lid decide to try not to knock it over and then I'm going to be doing things in a slightly strange order perhaps but next I will be taking my 217 brush and a purple colour a matte purple medium kind of blue based purple now I don't have a colour list so I used it from this really cheap palette please don't ask me where I got it I got it from eBay from somewhere in Hong Kong like a year ago and I really don't remember it um, it came with two of these palettes and they were really really cheap um, I think they're quite similar to those Coastal Sands palettes, not the best quality, but pigmentation wise, pretty good. So I'm using this colour here, I'm just showing you the palette so you know what colour I'm using. This one here. So these are like the more reddish purples up here, and some more the blue ones, and these two are pretty much the same colour, but this one's shimmery and the one I'm using is matte. Because we have such shimmery colour on the list. Maxi really. He's just going crazy down there. Just packing that on into the lid. Now, of course, because these were cheap, they are not the greatest, and the shadow has fallout, and it is a little chalky. But with a range of colours, I just use them when I don't have a particular colour that I want. If I have a certain look that I'm going for. So quite liberally, I'm applying that into my crease and just above it. Like so. You don't have to be too messy. I mean, too <laughs> too messy. Um, you don't have to be too neat with a step. It's fine. We're gonna tidy it up in a minute. Next, I am taking. Now you can take Mac Stars and Rockets, but I have Urban Decay's Asphyxia, which looks like that, which is very similar, and it has that kind of pink duochrome to it. Loading that up on my brush, 
and just putting that above where I put the purple almost up to the brow bone but not this will act as part of my highlight just blending it in with the purple this really I think looks nice with the pink sheen to it um, contrasting with the green down there and then I'm going to use a stiff brush to really pack on some highlight now first of all I'm going to put a little bit of gesso up here just to lighten it up this area then I'm going to use a little bit of vellum which has that blue reflect to it and mixed with the asphyxia or the stars and rockets eyeshadow or pink pearl pigment anything like that it brings out more of the blue as well and at the very top I'm just going to put a little bit of my vapour right by the brow edge so to mattify it a little bit like so. So we have a nice gradient of highlights. Just blend it a little bit as well. Oh, Max wants to come say hi. Maxie. Oh, he ran away. He doesn't want to say hi anymore. Um, next I am taking, oh, I am taking, <laughs> uh, the 226. You could use any um, crease brush, I'm just trying to flick off some of the colour in it. And I am taking, if I could get it out, a brown colour, and uh, this is Quarry. It's a brown with slight purpley blueness. As in, it's, it's a cool brown, that's what I'm trying to say. It's not a warm brown, it's a cool brown. And I'm just loading that up on my brush, and I'm putting that right into my crease between the green and, and purple, and this will just add a little bit of depth and make it easier to blend because you can see we're going to darken it up so I want to start off the process, I don't want to go in with the black straight away because it's a cool tone brown, you, can, you can't really see it, it blends into the purple really well but just starts off that deepening of the crease like so Next, I am going to take Femme Noir. Now, this is a really, really dark kind of bottle green. Oof, if I can get it out. And on swatches and things, it almost looks black, but it's actually a green. And I'm going to just get the very tip of my brush in there. Just very lightly load up the tip. And start making the shape of the crease that I want. I want it to be round at the edge, so... We're following the same line as usual along the lower lash line and then curving it around. This brush really helps to do this. You can also do this with the 219 because they have really sharp points. But I find that this is even sharper. I don't know if it's just mine. It almost sometimes hurts because it's such a sharp, thin point at the end. trying to check if they're the same and then just try and build up your well, thickest part should be around here and then it's going to fade in try not to bring it down too much just out here I'm going to build up that darkness and then if you think you need a little bit more blending blend it out and then keep building it up so you have the intensity that you need just trying to match the other eye which is pretty intense like that then I'm going to take my Urban Decay Pencil in Green Boost and it's this pretty mint green. Swatch a little bit. I don't know if you will see it. It's a shimmery and I'm going to put that in my waterline. It's very similar in colour to this Awakening pigment. I'm going to draw that along the lower lash line as well. 
just up to the base. And then I'm going to take the awakening that I used at the top, just with the ends of my T39, brush that off. It's a bit too liberal with that. Then at the edge, I'm going to. Mm, where's my brushy gone? My brushy. Um, take a little bit of the purple, actually, near the center, and just brush it on below the green. You can hardly see this, but it just ties everything together. And then on the outer corner, I use the femoral. And then if you need to touch up any more of the awakening that you've killed during your blending, now's the time. Then it's just time for liner and mascara. I'm using black track fluid line as usual, my Lily Lolo eyeliner brush, which I love. And quickly... Someone asked me for an eyeliner tutorial. I'm not keen to give one because, as I said, it's all about practice and also you can see my eyeliner in every video. And I do it pretty much the same way. So, just watch that. And then just a little bit of mascara. Well, when do I ever wear a little bit of mascara? <laughs> a lot of mascara. And I'm using L'Oreal's Voluminous again. So there we go, I'm sorry this took a little bit longer, but there's the look. It's really fun and sparkly, shimmery, um, for the springtime. Probably not something you necessarily want to wear out, but maybe, you know, a night out with the girls or something. Like, I would probably wear this because I'm crazy like that. <laughs> And um, also I wanted to say thank you so much guys, I just noticed that I reached 5,000 subscribers, so woo! Thank you very much everyone, I shall see you soon, I hope you enjoyed this spring bright look. Lots of love, bye bye.